Alright guys, this would be the road to MX vs ATV Legends, this is MX vs ATV Reflex, and the reason I'm doing this video a bit different is because we still play Reflex actively on the channel, and I feel like most of you guys probably know how we feel about this game. It's the best arcade style motocross game in my opinion ever made, and if you haven't played it, you gotta play it. So, we're gonna do a top five custom tracks in MX vs ATV Reflex. None of them are in any particular order. Number five could be number one, and number one could be number five. It, it doesn't really matter. All these tracks, in my opinion, are equally good for being creative and original, and some of them for the same reasons, okay? So, awesome tracks. Gotta check them out. The first track we're gonna check out here is a two-part track. This is... The JT Compound by Jamie T. Now, this track is awesome. It speaks for itself. It's jumpy. It's big. It's rough. It has great ruts on it. Amazing layout. I mean, a lot of the stuff we say for this track is going to be um, things we say for, for other tracks. So, he found a way to make this track permanent in the game. And it would have been earlier on in the custom track making... Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was at the very beginning. I'm not really sure but uh, Jamie T has done some awesome awesome stuff and he had reflex central that was where you got your custom tracks before dark slides kind of took over with his DS19 uh, Website and then this is the second track again. It's a two-part track. This is still number five This is the Rubicon this track is I believe the most downloaded custom track in reflex history it has like 8,000 downloads on Darkseid's website, so I don't know how many it would have had on Central, but this track has been downloaded many, many times, thousands and thousands of times, so awesome track. This is the Rubicon. I uh, already said that, I know, but uh, fast pace, big floaty jumps. It has good ruts, but the ruts are kind of like um, where you, the corner, you, you still maintain really good speed, so they're not the grabbiest of ruts, but the corners aren't that tight most of the time, so you can still hook into them. Uh, the layout is awesome, and the track is freaking huge. So I believe if you've played a custom track in MX vs. ATV Reflex, there's a 90% chance you probably played this track as well as the JT Compound, which is why both of them are... Which is why I decided to put both of them together. Um, just second to none, these things are freaking awesome. So try it out. Okay, so next up on the list, I don't want to say number two really because, well, it is number two or number four, but um, again, they're not in ranking order. All these tracks are freaking awesome and could be number one, okay? And this was a tough list to do, but this is Grippendale by, by Philip. I, I'm not even going to try and say the creator name because I, I can't. I'll butcher it, but Philip. Um, he's one of my favorite creators. He has the most original tracks out there. This track, I wouldn't say it does anything we haven't seen before, but it does it in a really interesting way. I mean, we go through a tunnel. Kind of cool. The layout is awesome. It is rough. It has so many... One thing Philip does really, really well is he uses different um, objects, I guess, to make his tracks, and then he makes them where they have at least two different very viable line choices you can take to where one, they're both really well put together, but it doesn't feel like one is way, 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 way faster than the other one. It's fun to burn laps off and take both the different line choices he gives you on his tracks. Um, this track, it's it's his tracks are really long. They, they're really, really long and um, they can be kind of tough, but they're super, super flowy. They have uh, original layouts to them. Um, he uses the water to where we're kind of riding through the water constantly, jumping over the water, jumping over the track. He has a freestyle ramps on it. Um, he, even, he, has a, he even has a bridge at the end where you ride over it, and then you kind of jump back down and spiral back underneath of it. And then jump, you know, you, you come back to where the start was. And you didn't really see the start here because the video would have been way too long. So I kind of cut the video up to show you bits and pieces of the track. But 
it is awesome. This is one of my favorite nationals out there. I would say it's equally as good as the Rubicon. I know there's some people that might argue with that, but it was awesome. I remember when it came out, we did a live commentary on it, and I was just blown away by how fantastic this was. And I know he had made tracks before this. He had, uh, I forget what the name of it was, but this wasn't his first rodeo, but this was the first track I played by him where I was like, whoa, one of the best tracks ever made. Jumping into number three, this is the DS19 compound. Now, I'm just showing you the national track. There is three Supercross tracks as well. Um, I believe it's just called DS19 Supercross 1, 2, and 3, but this is just the national track um, for the video. Otherwise, the video would have been freaking huge, but um, this track, it was really close between this track and Zypher by Vicali. I kind of enjoyed both these tracks for the same reason, but when it came down to it, the reason I like both these tracks, specifically this one, is because of the ruts, the roughness, the the difficulty. I mean, if you want to go fast on this track, you're going to crash. I have seen people do insane fast laps on it. Merlin is one of them, but Merlin is a reflex god, okay? He is insane, so... Um, unless you're like pro level, it is a tough track. But this track offers all the stuff we, we ask for in milestone games. The ruts everywhere, roughness everywhere. And then you add the terrain deformation from Reflex. This track gets insane. Every inch of this track has choppy braking bumps, acceleration bumps, huge ruts. But the ruts aren't perfect, you know it's just it's like the imperfections he did on this track made it so unique and it is it does have more jumps than like Zypher by Vikelli but the jumps aren't just full send some of them are very tough to get over because of how rough it is or or the way you come out of the corner it just it sucks up all your your momentum and your acceleration but some jumps you have to let off because otherwise you just jump like literally jump off the track um, so it is tricky very tricky. The Supercross tracks are similar. I don't know if they're as rough as this. This was kind of the standout from the compound for me, but Dark Slides is a heavy hitter in making custom content when Reflex was really, really hot with the custom content a couple years ago, a few years ago, but um, awesome, awesome track. Definitely need to check it out. Check out Zypher as well by Vikelli. I feel like they're very equal in awesomeness, you know, um, kind of similar in how they are, but this track definitely rougher for sure, but check it out the DS19 compound So number two, this is Glenn Helen you saw it there on the track. This is by Red Rider 197 now Okay, before you freak out any of the replica tracks made by Red Rider or even RDC which would be Red Rider Dark Slides 19 and C4 Detonator um any of the replica tracks could take the place of this track, but but the reason I chose Glen Helen is because, in my opinion, it's just a tiny bit better than any of the other replicas. I mean, you guys know I love Unadilla. He did the Unadilla replica, and it was amazing. But this track is one of the roughest, nastiest, gnarliest tracks I've ever played in like a arcade motocross game i mean i know mx bikes mx simulator has a road but this track is wild i mean you can hit those deep ruts perfect and still crash because the game it's like you're catching a foot peg on it and i know he spent tons of time on this track he has a smooth version of this track as well but this is the best one definitely you got to play this version of the track the terrain deformation um, he spent tons of time on it. He, from what I understand, he was talking to people that have raced a track or rode the track in real life. So very accurate. Scaling might not be perfect, but because reflex is just a bigger scaling, but amazing job. It is, I know Dark Slide's DS19 compound was very rough, but these ruts are second to none. They are godly ruts okay <laughs> they are crazy and I, I i couldn't even get a full lap and i was i kept crashing but luckily we just show you bits and pieces so you won't see uh, maybe you do see it i'm not sure but it was awesome um I, it, it, he made this a while ago so if glenn helen has a different layout don't fault him he made it perfect this is actually in my opinion a perfect track 
Awesome. Look at these ruts, man. We're cross riding. I don't even know how we got through this. This is wild, man. It's <laughs> impossible. It's great. It's awesome. I love it. Try it out. Glen Helen by Red Rider 197. And for number one, this is Land Vetter by Philip. Again, I should have all the names of the tracks and the creators on screen, but this is, I'm going to say it right away, this is the greatest Supercross track in any game, any game ever. Base game, DLC, custom mods, whatever. This is the greatest Supercross track ever. It has so many different line choices. I told you with Grippendale, he made Grippendale as well, that he gives you so many choices to hit the track and all the different lines that you can take feel really good and feel fast and feel different. It has insane rhythm sections on it. It's big, it's kind of fantasy, but it goes outside the stadium. We covered this track already, but if you weren't with the channel, you don't remember, the track goes outside. So aside from the crazy layout, I mean, the track isn't just in the bottom. The track runs all over the stands and uses basically the entire stadium. And then again, it goes outside. We will show you that. Um, but before it goes outside, we actually go underneath the stadium. Um, so we ride around down here for a while and then come out on the back side of the stadium outside and then we ride through the the city a bit he uses the freestyle ramps we got some water just a very very original and unique and this track is phenomenal fill up you the man with making these custom tracks and it's awesome it's great check it out we're outside of the stadium you can see it here but the video is pretty close to ending this is my top five favorite custom tracks best best custom tracks in mx versus atv reflex there's hundreds and hundreds of tracks to try out let me know what your top five is in the comments if i left one out um, again don't feel offended if i forgot one uh, c4 detonator by cali wolfram there's so many people that made great tracks it could have easily been in this list and i feel like we're very close to equally as good as what we're showing you here so um, it doesn't mean that anybody else that made tracks they weren't amazing they are so try them out Loretta Lynn's by um, Hurin definitely could have been on here let me know what your guys's top five list is it's very difficult it would have been easier to do to do a top 10 but I wanted to make it harder myself so let me know what your list is but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on the channel lately it really does mean a lot and until the next video Take it easy.